Welcome to My DSP's Campaign Creation Tutorial. Today, you're going to learn how to create awesome campaigns with My DSP. Let's get started. First things first, before you create a campaign, you need to add an advertiser. Keep in mind that you can also have one advertiser for multiple campaigns. Once you've added an advertiser, you can create your campaign. Let's take a look at the details section. Here, you need to fill out all the important info. Now you want an active campaign, right? Make sure to check the active checkbox below the campaign name, so your campaign will be saved as active. One tip, when choosing your campaign's classification, you can choose from a list of categories by clicking on the icon next to the field. The conversion postback can be found in the revenue field. Choose CPA as your revenue type, and you'll find the postback directly below. Once you've filled out all your details, move on to Inventory. In the Inventory section, you can choose your overall inventory, including inventory type and all the exchanges you want to purchase traffic from. See the domain list? This feature allows you to target domain lists that are uploaded into the list asset. To learn how to upload lists, check out the list management tutorial. Time to move on to targeting. In the targeting section, specify your targeting according to your campaign preferences. Want to target specific devices? The device identifier allows you to target specific devices through a list that is uploaded into the system. Check out our list management tutorial to learn how to upload lists. In the right-hand corner, you can see the estimated daily impressions according to your targeting and bid. The number here will change as you add or remove different targeting parameters. Next up is the Creatives section. Let's add creatives to your campaign. You have two choices here. You can either upload new creatives or choose from existing creatives that are associated with your advertiser. You can find these in the Creative Gallery in the Assets menu. Now that's all set, let's move on to micro-bidding. You don't have to use the micro-bidding feature, but we highly recommend it. It allows for more flexible bidding by letting you adjust bids on your targeted app, sites, or creatives. You're almost done! Just click on Save to finalize your campaign. Don't worry, you can always go back and edit. Congrats! Your campaign is ready! You're one step closer to making my DSP your DSP.